down on that. Uh, I did, but I'm a terrible liar. And besides, it doesn't pay. In fact, I remember this one time I was going with this wonderful girl and she would plead with me and plead with me to give the stuff up. And so one day I did. And then we discovered we had nothing to talk about, so we broke up. Uh, there's something about this forest that gives me the feeling of being in a cathedral. Well, if we were, I'd know where the exit was. <laughs> you don't believe in anything, do you? Of course I do. Really? What? Uh, well, uh, anything I can understand. You know, anything that's real to me. Anything I can see, touch, smell, taste, and swallow. And uh, what about the things you don't understand? I dismiss them. Well, that just makes everything easy, doesn't it? Comfortable is work. I envy you, Jeff. What for? You seem to be very satisfied. Well, I am. Aren't you? No. No, I'm not. That's just the silliest thing I've ever heard. You have a fine job, you're engaged to a fine girl, and you're lost in a fine forest. What more do you want? I don't know. But something just seems wrong. Especially about Jane and me. And that makes everything seem wrong. I mean, look how I postponed getting married. I just cannot get myself to that altar. But what, what could be wrong about it, really? I mean, she's young. Attractive. And fits snack into your niche in life. And above all, she loves you. And just the proper amount, too. What's the proper amount? Well, it's enough to make you happy and not enough to embarrass your friends. <laughs> it looks ideal, doesn't it? Yep. So why don't I see it? I must be lacking somewhere. Now don't start talking yourself into an inferiority. You don't deserve it. What do you mean? Well, most of my friends who have inferiority complexes are absolutely right. They're not as good as everybody else. But you, you, you have this, you hear that? 